Welcome everyone to the Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I didn't expect me- I didn't- excuse me. I didn't expect to do this Let's Play. But here we are. So, real quickly. Oh god, iconic. So this is not my favorite Zelda. This is actually my third or fourth favorite Zelda, maybe fifth. I do like it a lot, it's a classic. Um, so here, here's a little, here's my life lore with this game. So every New Year, every, every New Year's Eve, or around, like, after Christmas, I play Majora's Mask, right? And around every year, since the beginning of, like, 2019, 2018, I would beat Majora's Mask on the dot at 12 midnight, of January 1st of whatever year. So I would start it, and then as soon as the new year starts, I beat Majora's Mask. So I go into the new year with the dawn of a new day. And I thought I would share that to the world of YouTube for my channel, for my memoir, or whatever the hell this channel is really supposed to be. But, you know, that's what I do with Majora's Mask. So Majora's Mask is really kind of a festive game for me. It's a very special game in a sense that I play it like every every coming of a new year, I play Majora's Mask. So, enough about me, let's get into the game. I'm not going to be talking too much, unless I'm like explaining something, but this is going to be a kind of calm let's play. In the land of Hyrule, there- oh, I don't- am I going to have- to, oh. I choked, I thought I was going to have enough time to read that. A boy who was after battling evil and saving Hyrule crept away from the land. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. So this is actually a sequel to Orcarina of Time. Orcarina of Time, if you haven't played it, is one of the best Zelda games ever made. And Link is searching for his friend Navi. If you're a Zelda fan, you know who Navi is, but Navi was like Link's little companion in Orcarina of Time. And she, spoilers for Orcarina of Time, but Navi flew away to some place, and Link's depressed because he lost the only friend that really cares about him, or that he knows of.
There's the Orc Arena. All right, we gotta go. A little punk Toko Orcarina. After it was a gift. That was a gift for the family. Oh my god, I haven't played this in a, I haven't played it in like, well, a year. You know, before we go that, let's get some rubies. And I'm also debating if I should talk and read the dialogue, but again, my mic is really crappy, so I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'll see how I feel. Luckily though, with Majora's Mask, you can play this game without knowing what happens to Orcarina of Time. I mean, it's good to play Orcarina of Time, definitely play it, but, it, you know, actually, funny enough, I first played Majora's Mask over Orcarina of Time first. Alright. Sorry, I want to get rid of these first. This is going to be a long Let's Play. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to beat it before New Year's. I have a long way to go. We're going to try, though. We're going to try. If people could speedrun this game, like, under an hour or something, then I sure as hell can do it. Well, I'm not going to speedrun, but... Yeah, not so funny now, huh?
Uh, just for the record, this fairy that was being a dick to us is, uh, not Navi. I honestly, I don't even know her name. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're now a Deku because Skull Kid's an asshole. Well, mm, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, for now, Skull Kid is a big fat meaty. So, with the Deku Masks, you can do certain things that normal Link cannot do. The Deku is kind of... boring. You're made out of wood, so you can't... You'll see in a minute, but you can't, uh, you can't swim in water. Your only form of attack is you spin... You can shoot bubbles and stuff like that. Link is very limited in this form. But the, the gimmick of this game is the masks. Like, you'll, uh, you'll see in, as the game progresses, you'll get different types of masks that make you do certain things. I plan on getting all the masks, or at least I'm going to try. I might do some off-screen, because it's just a lot to do. But we'll, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't need your help. I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. Don't tell me how to do my fucking job. Okay, so basically what she just told me is... Yeah, to use the Deku Flower. Yes. Okay, so... I forgot, this is the little shield that Deku Link has. God, I gotta learn the controls again. You can't jump in this form either. You have to you have to rely on a deck of flowers to do certain things. So this is my first Zelda Let's Play, and funny enough. I don't think I said this, but my favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess. So, I don't know. I, I, I again with these let's plays, I kind of just want to. I just kind of feel like doing what I want to do. There's no like. There's an order. Like there are certain games that I want to get to and stuff. But like, if the time is right, then I'll do like a certain game. Like if I'm feeling like Majora's Mask, I do every like New Year's Eve or leading up to New Year's. I do it every year. So I'm like, hey, why not record it this year? You know. Add it on to the pile of Let's Plays that I'm doing. Even though I didn't finish a lot of them. But, again, I'm, this is all experimental. I'm just kind of going as it... as Just kind of going with the flow. You also get items. Wow, that's annoying. I am playing on the virtual console right now, so the controls are really, really weird. Oh, 
Oh god, make it, make it, make it, make it! Oh. Also, the camera in these old N Nintendo 64 games are not the greatest, so I'm gonna be struggling with the camera a lot. Who is this? That's creepy. Oh yeah, so deck loop C is just kind of stun enemies. That's pretty much it. I don't really use them too often, but... So if you just see me pause while like I'm just standing still and doing nothing, I'm just kind of taking in the scenery and taking in the moment. Just a heads up, because I'm going to be doing that a lot in this game. Especially here, because the music is so good in this game. It's so melancholy, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I might just cut out some stuff, but I'm just trying to take in the moment. So that was the Happy Mask Salesman. He's kind of famous in the Zelda community as being a really creepy guy. Which he is. But yeah, uh, apparently that Skull Kid that robbed us and possibly killed Epona took Majora's Mask. A mask that he holds very dearly. And he wants us to get it back within three days. So, you know, we are got to get the mask back regardless because he took our Orcarina. And, you know, Skull Kid is just kind of being a douche. Alright, actually, we're going to end off part one here before we go to Clock Tower Town. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you can join me in my Majora's Mask journey. I, I really like this game a lot, and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care, have a great day, rest of your night, wherever you are in the world.